to me, this whole notion of mental toughness, I mean, that's a phrase you hear coaches talk about all the time. To me, this whole notion of mental toughness has to do with what you choose to focus on. Mental toughness or mental strength is just about what you choose to focus on. Players and people that aren't very mentally tough tend to put their focus on what I call petty problems. Petty problems. Like, it's too hot in here. There's no AC in the gym. The ball doesn't have enough air in it. The floor's too slippery. They tend to put their, their focus and their attention on these petty problems. But players and people that are mentally tough tend to be much more noble-minded. Noble-minded. They put their focus and their attention on things that really matter, things that really go into winning a championship or being a special player on a championship team. To be noble-minded means to put your attention on things like your attitude, your approach, your effort level, what you choose to say to teammates, your tone of voice. That's what being noble-minded is about. And players that are mentally tough pride themselves in being mentally prepared for any circumstance, for any situation. They don't complain about petty problems. As a matter of fact, they welcome petty problems. They go into a game and they say, it's hot in here? Excellent. Balls doesn't have enough air in it? Great. We got bad referees tonight? Terrific. Because in their mind, those are the kind of petty problems that their opponent is going to get caught up in, they're going to get distracted by, that their opponent's going to use as an excuse for why they couldn't do their best that night. But when you're mentally tough, you're prepared to do your best no matter what the circumstances are. It doesn't matter if the ball's flat or it's hot or there's no AC in the gym. Players that are mentally tough are much more noble-minded. The conditions don't distract them. So. How do you know if you have mental toughness? Well, what happens in a game when a referee makes a call that you think is a bad call? Do you complain? Do you get all frustrated? Or do you pride yourself in not accepting any gifts from a referee? What happens when somebody talks trash to you? Do you lose your focus and get all caught up in that and get all hot and bothered by that? Or do you get even more focused and just kind of smile and walk away and get even more determined the next time. Here's another big one. What about when coach is yelling at you for something that's not your fault? What's your approach then? Do you pout, feel sorry for yourself, get angry at your coach? Or do you look him in the eye and listen to what he's saying and try to find something positive in what he's saying to you, whether it was your fault or not? Who cares if it was your fault? So mental toughness is where you put your attention. Do you focus on petty problems or are you more noble-minded? Martin Luther King Jr. said one time that the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in times of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in times of challenge and controversy. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in times of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in times of challenge and controversy. So, Take pride in what we call at Point Guard College your unruffleability. And I think Coach Mono is going to talk more about that a little bit later in the week. But take pride in your nobility of mind. Take pride in your, your ability to routinely rise above petty problems. You can't afford to major in minor things if you want to be the leader of a championship team. You can't afford to focus on petty problems if you want to play on a team that wins championships. And when you become mentally tough and you learn to choose your attitude moment to moment, it will give you a huge advantage in basketball and in life because most people aren't like that. Most of your opponents are going to get caught up in petty problems. So when you learn to be more mentally tough and have that nobility of mind, it gives you a huge advantage in life. It puts you on a whole different playing field than everybody else. Well, if you're a coach trying to win a championship, do you want a point guard that's sloppy and undisciplined and not very precise? Or do you want a point guard that is disciplined and has a ridiculous attention to detail? So this is one of those intangibles that will separate you from a whole lot of players and from a whole lot of people. Coaches love players who pay attention to detail.